My grandfather was not a strong man, but he knew what it meant to build. In 1947, after he and my great uncles returned from the Second World War, they opened up Union War Surplus Store. The store's slogan, from a battleship to a hunting knife, we have it or we'll get it. My grandfather was not a strong man, but he kept his word. The place was half store, half encyclopedia, packed all the way to the ceiling with odd objects that somebody somewhere might want. Steel toe boots made of velvet, fire resistant overalls, a Czechoslovakian dental kit from 1947, <laughs> packed all the way to the basement with people that somebody somewhere else might forget about, but not here. Like Richard, Richard who did not work there, but showed up every Sunday afternoon in his full military uniform, never bought a damn thing, <laughs> but once brought his little girl, held her hand, said this, this is what it smelled like when daddy was a hero. My grandfather was not a strong man, but he kept us safe. We walked together in the park one night, and a jagged man with more tattoo than skin walked up directly to my grandfather, said, hey, old man, my pops used to take me to your store when I was a kid, and you shook my hand once like I was a man. I still remember that. My grandfather's office was upstairs. But he liked to work down on the floor, gave anybody a smile. Everybody called him Cheerful Al with his big belly, bald head, long gray beard. Little kids would see him and go, <gasps> Santa Claus. <laughs> Six years after Union War Surplus Store opened its doors, my grandfather had a son, my dad. He is not a strong man, but he knows what it means to build. One summer, when he was a teenager, he worked at the store, built a door in the back. It's still there. Forty years after Union War Surplus Store opened its doors, my father had a son. I am not a strong boy, but I'm trying to learn what it means to build. One summer, when I was a teenager, I worked at the store built this display that went all the way up to the ceiling. The same ceiling where my dad taught me to identify things. Oh, this here, Phil? Oh, this is an old American bombshell. You may want to hold it, but be careful not to hurt yourself. Oh, her there, oh, she, she is a young American bombshell. You may want to hold her, but be careful not to hurt yourself. <laughs> Soon after my father built his door, he walked through it built his own half encyclopedia, made my grandfather very proud. Soon after I built my display, I ran up to my grandfather's office, showed him what I had done. Very good, Philip, very good. When I asked him what to do next, he handed me an old piece of paper, a beat up pen. When I asked him what to do with it, he shrugged his shoulders and laughed. And I began to build the only way I know how. 